Hi there, Uncle Laurie here with another shave. It's Sunday today, a lovely bright sunny day here in central Victoria, or central western Victoria actually, which is about um, 100 kilometres west of Melbourne if you want to know whereabouts I live. Today's soap comes from Uncle John's. Uncle John's has been around for a while. I think he started making soaps back in 2011, but I think this base is from 2016 onwards. With a few tweaks here and there. Gravity is like a, a cologne style scent. I get a sort of cologne barbershop style scent, a bit of The wood and uh, what do you call citrus, orange citrus rather than lemon. What else is in there? Vanilla, I mean, a touch of sweetness, bit of wood with the teak wood, cadmium, vetiver. Probably said that. So, not that strong off the puck, I would say about four out of ten out of on one puck. So this is the first time I've tried Uncle John's soap, so we'll see how it goes. It's actually shrunk away from the side, so um, turned into a buck. <laughs> That's fine. That's what happens with a lot of the, um, the soaps. So we'll get started with a bit of pre-shave. straight into the pre-shave. Just massage it in. Clean the beard a bit. Get some of the oils. Leave that to sit for a while while I do the leather and we're going to build up the leather with my Billy Goat Brushworks Monolith. It's quite a big, big handle. Lots of swirly colours and I've got a 26mm Snow Leopard. Yeah, Snow Leopard. Not from Yaki. Quite soft, it's a bit like a, a reverse tuxedo. So we'll go to the overhead camera and we'll start the leather. Well, we're here at the uh, overhead camera. I've already squashed a half teaspoon of soap into the bowl from Uncle John's. You see I made a bit of a divot out of that soap. Even though it's dried out a bit, um, it's actually quite a soft soap. So we'll see how we go. I've already shaken out the brush. I'll just start swirling with the tips. I expect to be able to gather all the soap up quite quickly. I'll just do a bit of I'm gathering up some soap into the middle of the brush. Looking very nice. I'll just start adding water slowly. I'll start with one, one spray, single shots, as they say. The 
ball I'm using today is uh, from Yaki. It's called the Yaki Duke, a ceramic bowl. It's got this nice brush rest on it. three single shots. We'll do double shots now. Certainly getting plenty of lather from this. It's already lovely and shiny. So I think that's seven shots. Just add the water slowly. Looking very nice. This soap doesn't have a, a very big ingredient list, quite traditional. It does have shea butter in it, so it should have pretty good post shave feel. Let's see, it's starting to look pretty good. Two more. Making it really moist. Okay, I'm happy with that. It's very shiny, very just how I like it. About a medium density. Yeah. Looks good. All right, we'll go with that. I'm back from that leather build. And we've got a lovely looking leather. Very moist. I'll just put that on my face. Beautiful. Lovely scent. I get a sort of a barbershop style scent, so like sandalwood in it, but there, I don't think there's any sandalwood in it. Maybe coming from the teak and the, and the vetiver together. Not a strong scent, I would call it maybe four out of 10 still. Same strength, maybe five. I'll call it five out of 10, because it is wafting up into my nose. Very pleasant. No problems with the leather. It's a tallow base soap. Mm, sorry, a tallow base soap. The razor we're going with today 
comes from Razor Rock. It's the Razor Rock Hawk version 2 aluminium. And I've got a Feather Professional. Um, what's it called? Feather Professional with uh, second use. White head is a bit tricky under the nose. But if you go east to west, it's easier to get under the nose. Very nice. First pass. No damage. Good slickness from that side, oh, actually excellent slickness. Right, while we um, applying the second layer on, I'll uh, leave the ingredients of the soap here. And I'll follow that up with the scent profile, the gravity scent. My tongue's all twisted today. I don't know what's happened. Oh, lovely. Yeah, it's a nice scent. I'll call it. Oh yeah, I'll call it five out of ten. Strength. Very, very pleasant. It's called cologne, but I don't have any colognes that smell like this. It's not across the grain on my neck, but uh, I always do the neck area against the grain on the second and third passes. Okay. 
even though it's light, I'm doing light strokes. Virtually uh, no pressure. Of course, you have to do a little bit of pressure just to get it on the skin. residual just got to keep it moist mm. very nice good quality soap no complaints at all is it top tier no but it's definitely a lovely soap stable still Very nice. See, I'm going carefully around the mouth area. Right, very nice. We got over here. 
every so often. Lovely shape. Very nice indeed. Just do some touch ups along the normal areas. Along here. Yeah, nice close shave. With the um, the pro blade, it's quite an efficient razor. I wouldn't call it a mild razor, more of a medium to mild the pro blade. Yes it is for me. Getting a very close shave. A couple of little weepers there. Try not to do it too much more. I think I'll just I'll call that a shave. Already starting to get a few weepers. That normally make himself shave pretty close already. Nice feel on the skin from that. Oh, it's a bit on my chin. Hang on. Right. Yep. It's got a beautiful. Let's see beautiful. Right, we'll off. Just gonna do a bit of warm water. Change the cold. So bad on my ears. Right, I'll swing the alum around. Oh, a bit of stinging there. So a bit of stinging in my cheeks there, or under my jawline. Yeah, there's a bit of stinging all around, so a close shave. I'm not expecting any irritation from it though. Just give it a good coating of alum. I'll wash that off in the shower anyway. Right, that's it.
that's my shave. I'll uh, go and have my shower, come back and do the post shave. Back from the shower. Let's get straight into the post shave. Starting off with a bit of witch hazel with some menthol crystals in it. Some do it the other way around, I don't know. But I also put a moisturizer on after that, so. Each their own. today comes from Uncle John's Gravity, a lovely cologne, masculine cologne scent. It's got a quite a few uh, scents in there. It's got a mandarin, cadamon, that's probably what I smell, the cadamon. Vetiver, suede, vanilla and teak wood. Ah, lovely scent, really. Um, we started off with the activated charcoal from Verde, glycerin soap. The brush we used was the Billy Goat Monolith with the, what is it, Snow Leopard Knot in there, 26ml from Yaki. Nice soft knot. It's about the softness of Maybe a tuxedo. And the razor we used was a Razor Rock Hawk version 2. I'll probably classify it as a medium razor, medium aggressive, aggressive razor with the Pro Blade. Uh, what else do we use? The bowl was the Yaki Duke ceramic bowl. Generic spray bottle for adding water to the soap build, and I think that's it. We'll finish off with a bit of blue stratus. Which is bright fusy style splash. As an aftershave, it doesn't stick around very long. Half an hour, an hour on me. Okay. Oh, it's a lovely scent. Beautiful. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you on my next shave.